Oh. I um today I'm gonna talk about class and uh, design layers. Um, the first thing is design layers. Uh, when we do design layers, you want to make sure, um, you know, we also have classes. So basically, um, just two ways of control things. Um, for example, design layers usually is more broad, more general kind of um, classification. Um, you know, you can say project one and project two, or you can say layer one, uh, layer two, or plants, or landforms, or amenities, or you know, and then under plants, they might be you know some other things like stormwater elements or something. Then you put on cl classes, um, or constructions, or you know, option one, option two. So just make sure the, the uh, you have less design layers, okay? Don't have too much design layers. That's how I put it. Um, but for classes, you can specify as much as you want. You want, okay? Um, for, and um, uh, one thing I want to say uh, is for classes is to set up subclasses. For example, all this are um, furnitures. Um, I have furniture down here, but I have frames. See, this is one frame for the seating area, or this is one frame for the roof, for the pad. Um, so how I do that? Um, let's say frames. Let's just create a new layer, new class. Let's say frames. Um, so here, this is the key. You want to make sure you have class name. Let's say frame. But there's a dash line. Make sure you keep the dash line, and then you say pad. And then click OK. See here, that's how you create sub layers. Okay, same thing. You go to frame again, and uh, this time you go sitting. Click OK. See here, so that's how you create sub layers. Okay, for sub layers, you just um, for then you can set up this. So, for example, this one I can make it class to the this is a frame I can go to seating okay so right now this change to settings so see here this settings already set up um, by the way you can just do different things like this um, you can hide or not hide um, and then also here um, this one I can just change them the other way to change them is you just right click just select the object one set and right click and assign to selection so uh, I actually want this to go to pad so you got to pad and assign to selection then if you click this you'll see here this is frame pad okay these sub classes that's how we do it um, and then for all these other things um, they are all actually in the furniture assign to selection you will see that's another thing. Once you, you see I assign to these furnitures, they automatically change the texture. That's because um, you can actually for every classes you can set up exact same graphic attributes and textures. Okay, I set the textures a stone um, stones like this, but you know I can also set up with others like this one, and then click OK, click OK. See they will change too. Okay. Um, that's where we're useful. Um, and the other thing I want to see is um, see this check sign, which means right now I'm in default. Um, but if I select, see here, I can select all this, um, all these objects. Okay, um, but I cannot select here. The reason is in the layers. These are all sports facilities, okay? These parts are all related with sports, even even though they have some furniture on it. Um, because here I set up show others, but I cannot modify and snap. So those these options are really key, okay? It can tell you what to do. For example, um, if I change to gray, see they will gray out all these sports, okay? If I change gray and a snap see I can snap them but I cannot do anything um, 
show others this is just show but I cannot even snap them okay same thing with the classes you know um, the furniture it, you know right now I'm not in the furniture but if I choose gray others see it all gray because nothing is in the default right now uh, and if I do modify see I can modify them I can select them okay but if I uh, so that's basically you know you just try these different options you will remember that okay um, you can hover over and just choose that okay um, so that's this um, the other thing, the other tool that's really useful usually uh, for example times you want to hide for example you want to hide all these objects um, you know you can just um, you know you can you can um, go to furniture and so it's invisible but you can also use this visibility tool okay uh, see here right now um, invisible mode if you click they will all go to invisible okay and they'll automatically select so you don't have to find the classes that's another way of, to do it um, so these are another vis visibility tool visibility tool especially in construction drawings you have so many classes this is a great way to do it so the other thing I want to show you is in the view that you can actually set up a clip cube what this means is see here all the objects that will have a cube and um, you could actually set up sections if you want so see here these are set sections um, if I change the highlight see you can see how it changed okay you can choose different faces okay that's pretty useful so then uh, if you don't need the clip cube you just go back here and cancel it um, make sure remember it's in the views um, see here preview um, so uh, we talk about these two one's class one is design layer then we have sheet layer okay sheet layer is just different ways to show different parts of your design um, for example um, if you want to say to see these furnitures um, you just go to view again and create a viewport you can do that um, but usually you want to draw a box that's another way uh, time you want to use uh, screen plane if you do 3d viewpoint for example if you, if you draw anything it's gonna be just like this but if you go to screen plane uh, you can draw a box like this and then you click it you can I think you can use a right click you can um, well actually you cannot do this here but uh, you can go to view you go to create a viewpoint view, viewport uh, and then you can create a viewport now. all these settings you can change that later you just click OK uh, you can give them shit name if you know this is like say 3d view uh, the title you know you can do 3d view and then click OK see here then you have a 3d view now okay it's 3d um, then you can see here you can update it so this is how it shows. Um, the good thing is, you can see uh, you have a lot of settings down there. Okay, a lot of settings. You can do uh, render settings. You know, this is um, you can see how it goes. You know, different ways of doing it. Uh, you can do you can change the how it rendered. You can use wireframe. This OpenGL. So it's pretty straightforward. You just see what's going on in, in here but what's important is see here um, if you want to hide for example if you want to hide the furnitures you cannot do it here okay because all this is just change how it looks in design layer okay not sheet layer okay if you want to change how it shows up in sheet layer you have to go to uh, here the classes you know the class is here if you want to hide furniture you can actually preview everything's hide it okay um, so you have to make sure you do it here okay if you want to hide the frame seating and the frame pad I hide those okay click OK so it's getting hide it the same with layers okay you have to click and set up there um, so you see update it looks like this um, the same if you want to change scale you know you just use different scale then it will show differently um, in this case I would love to do a smaller one 
so you can see it becomes smaller. The other thing is you want to make sure the classes is right. So right now the classes is in default. Uh, what they're gonna do is you know it's in here, um, but I usually you know make sure they're in the you know either dimension or well default. I think default works. Sometimes I will make a viewpoint viewports for that. Okay, um, in this case I think default works. Uh, just just remember. Um, this viewport there they can be in different classes too okay and you can move them in this sheet okay um, and you can edit uh, annotations that's another really cool thing you know you can just see here you can move different things you can change them um, you know you can change the name of it you can you can do those things as you want. See if it's a drawing title, you if you want to change that, you can say C D view. You know, you changed. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you wanna add uh, you know just just whatever things you know you can change you can do annotations on that too. Okay. See here. Show up here, but the annotation is show up here. Doesn't mean it will show up in the uh, design layers. For example, if you go back design layer, there's still nothing down there. Okay, um, that's basically what that means. Um, so this is sheet layer, and remember this is 3D view. Okay, so uh, let's talk about the other um, way of doing it. Um, you can do 2D viewport. Um, similar thing. You just draw box and then you go to view create viewport um, you know you just click set up uh, click OK and then see here exact same thing um, you will do that and you can do some changes as much as you want um, you can change the title see this title let's say plan view um, you can change the scale you want you know this is bigger um, this is smaller you know you can do all kind of things so you just explore these parameters okay um, but what I want to say the other thing is what if you don't want to show all of the all of these things or what if you want to you know change again uh, you can go to see we'll talk about um, edit allotate annotations you can edit crop too if you click crop See here, you, you, there will be a box down there. Um, you just pick the area you want to include. Um, so if I want only want to show this, they only show this. Okay, um, that's basically what it was. Um, but I actually like the bigger version, so I just go back. Show this. Um, so basically, that's what it was. Um, then the other thing is, um, you wanna these about sections. For example, you go to furniture again. Um, if I wanna draw sections like this, you could just um, go to view, create section viewport, and you just draw a line associated with it, and choose which side you wanna include. Let's say I like this side and double click. Then they will ask you, you know, create on, you know, I have board one sheet. Um, just some settings. You can change those later. Um, so this is what it looks like. So they will create a section for you. Um, the issue is they will cut everything. Um, you know, you can display. Um, if you could display, extend beyond cut. So there's nothing beyond, you know. Um, actually, you want to include this, okay? Which is good. Um, what What do you want to do? What, what do you, if you don't want only want to show the bench? You just um, similar thing. You want to edit crop. So this time, you want to draw a new box. Click it and exit. So they only have this that box on. Uh, you update. So you show up on it. Um, the other thing is when you go back to the furniture, you will see there are times you know the marker is too big. Um, you want to make them sh make sure they're small enough. Um, so you know it's here, so it's small enough. 
you can change them later. Um, play with the size of text or or, or that. Um, but I want to go back here. Um, there's another thing I would love to talk about is so-called section style. Because if you see here, they will automatically create a section style for you. Um, that's the way you can, you know, uh, change the style. For example, if you go to edit, um, right now this is my section style. I use hatch. If you want a solid, you can do solid. So it's to it's pure black. You know, I don't like this actually. Yeah, so that's why I choose um, the the hatch usually. Um, you know, different kinds of hatch. You know, you can click and then it will show for you. Okay. Um, so you can always go to view and uh, you can update all viewports. So they all update it. Okay. So that's how it how it works. Okay. Um, let me just do the annotation again. Um, you can do annotation. See, if you click, so they will see how tall that was. Um, so this is annotation. So that's pretty much um, covered all this one, two, three tab. Okay, which is sheet layer, design layer, and classes. Really important concepts. Okay, uh, make sure you understand those. Thank you.